If you follow what the majority of people do in 80 to 90% of situations, you're probably doing something wrong. The majority of people are broke. The majority of people are living paycheck to paycheck. The majority of people are drowning in debt. The majority of people have zero to no investments. The majority of people are unhappy. The majority of people are miserable and the majority of people do not like their jobs. This is not me exaggerating. These are all statistical numbers where more than 50% of people feel this way. And so if now you keep doing what everybody else does, you're going to end up like everybody else. We're taught to go to school, to get a degree, to get a job, so we can then get a job and climb the corporate ladder. Well, wealthy people don't do that. Wealthy people are not working to climb the corporate ladder. They're working to own the corporate ladder. I realized that something's wrong. Something's not adding up. I was in the library studying and I went on to Google and I searched the richest people in America. And you see people like Steve Jobs, Warren Buffett, Bill Gates, Mark Zuckerberg. And I was like, huh, none of these people are doctors. Mm -hmm. None of these people went down that traditional route of you know, getting a degree, doing a good job. Am I missing something? Because I thought that if you go to school, get a good degree, you can make a lot of money. And if you work harder in school, get better grades, you'll make even more money. So I thought it was just directly correlated, your grades, your income. And that's when I started questioning things. And I realized, oh, maybe this isn't right. And as you start to go down deeper and deeper down the mm -hmm. rabbit hole, you start to realize, oh my God, everything that I've been told is a lie. Right. Most of us are taught to get that degree so we can do one thing, climb the corporate ladder, get, earn a bigger salary. But if you only rely on your salary, you're just one step away from being broke. Because if you lose your job, something happens to you, you can't work or your company goes down, you lost your salary and now you have no income coming in and now what? And now you're trying to figure out how do you make things work? And by then it's too late. This is where you gotta be mm -hmm. proactive. And now I'm just like, this is crazy. Why was I never taught this? Mm. I was never taught about wealth. I was never taught about investing. I was never taught about this sort of financial education. But why aren't we taught this? And that's when I realized it's very profitable to keep people financially uneducated. It's mm. profitable to keep people poor. And so this is where now you want to think a little bit different and try to find what's right for you and start to get educated yourself. Because when it comes to the mindset, the first thing you have to understand is that it is possible. Because if you're sitting there saying, it's not possible for someone like me, somebody who has my background, my parents, my whatever, I can't become successful. I 100% guarantee that you will not be able to become successful. You cannot change your outcome without changing your mindset. Most of the times we assume that the reason why we can't become successful is because we lack the tool set. When in reality, for 90% of people, it's lacking the right mindset. Because when you have the right mindset, you'll discover that the tool set is right around you. So it's first believing that you can do it. Because once you know and believe that you can do it, that belief is going to then impact your decisions. Because now if you say, you know what? Yeah, maybe I can become successful. What are you going to do? You're going to go into YouTube, watch videos. How do I become successful? Then you start watching videos. And now you start to realize, oh, okay, I can start to do this. I can change this about my life. I need to change the way I think. I need to change my actions. I need to do more things in my day. I need to stop watching so much Netflix. I need to do this. Then maybe you start reading books. And now you start reading business books. There's so much wealth in a $20 business book. Just go on to Audible, look at some of the top business books and just start reading them. And you will learn so much. Now you start reading them. Maybe you start doing a little bit. Maybe you don't succeed too much, but you start taking some action and you start to learn even more because your experiences are some of the best teachers, teachers in the world. Even if you make mistakes, I have learned from my mistakes. I didn't have a mentor. I didn't have guidance. I didn't have investor family members. I didn't have people telling me how entrepreneurship works. I screwed up a ton. We made a ton of mistakes yeah. and that's how we learned. And then maybe you go and take a class. Now you're like, okay, I want to learn how to do this. I'm trying to build this business. I'm doing something wrong. I'm trying to get a better job or I'm trying to get a raise. I keep doing something wrong. You've read books. Now maybe you find a class. You invest some money in this class and now you have more education. Now you try more. And now you start to see over time, oh my God, 12 months ago, I had no idea. I didn't even believe that I can do it. Now that I believe that I can do it, I started watching YouTube videos. I started reading books. I started taking classes. I started taking action. And then you keep doing it. Maybe you hire a coach. Maybe you hire a consultant. I mean, yeah. the list goes on and on and on of what you can do, but it all first starts with the mindset because if you tell yourself you can't, your mind shuts down and you're never going to find an opportunity. You're never going to look for the opportunity. So that's where the mindset 
is the most important thing. And if you don't have the right mindset, this is where the first thing you want to do is start learning how do I build self-esteem? How do I build my confidence? How do I believe in myself? 